Well, the Black Ops 3 trailer for Zombies was only released a few days ago, and I decided to make a video on, well, everything that was really weird and just bad in that freaking trailer. Hopefully this video turns out good. You never know. So right off the bat, we have a new storyline going on, and the problem with that is now we have three different storylines. It's getting complicated, Treyarch. Fix that. Like, now we have to think about the Transit storyline, we have to think about the Group 935 storyline, now we have to think about the Shadow of Evil storyline, and there's just a lot of stuff there, and I don't think anybody really wants to think about it. And if you think about it, we're only getting four DLC maps. How are we going to fit three different storylines into four maps? And then if we do that, is it going to be really progressive now? Probably not, and that just takes away from the storyline, and then after Black Ops 3, we have to wait three years to get another trick game, so I don't really think this is the most progressive way to do zombies. And besides the storyline, we're getting a new wonder weapon in this map, and what's weird about that is it's a sword. Why? Why are we getting a sword? It's weird. It's different. It's cool, though. It's cool. I'll give them that, but... Why are we getting a sword? You know, like, I, I think a lot of people may have been asking for a sword, but how is that going to even work? Like, are we going to get a cooldown? Is it just going to be spipey for 50 minutes and you don't really have to do anything, like, skill-wise? You don't have to train anymore? Because from the trailer, you can see this new sword is OP. Like, you, you don't even have to really try with the sword and you're destroying everything. And it's sort of like the Paralyzer in a way where some Wonder Weapons are really good and some Wonder Weapons are a little bit poor, but... Overall, it can't be extremely OP or, you know, round 70 won't really mean anything, except you having enough time in your hand to waste, so, yeah. And something else I just felt was wrong was the boss zombie. Now, we usually have boss zombies on some maps, and they're usually pretty good. You know, we had the Mob of the Dead boss zombie that was that made sense with the story, it was a warden, it was good. We had the Transit boss zombie that was interesting, it was different. Interesting. It was good though. It was good. And then we had the Origins boss zombie that was a creative, that was pretty creative, didn't make sense was creative though so and then we have this zombie and you guys as you guys can see it looks more like an alien than anything else and i feel like that's so frustrating like we've been waiting for black ops 3 for so long and we've been wanting a lot of content out of this game i think anybody really wants to have the best out of the best stuff for this because it's well first of all they've been working on this for so long and then you know everyone's hyped up for zombies that's, that's just it so to have this boss that looks more alien than anything else it's it's not good. You don't- I don't think anybody really wanted this. And for all you keyboard warriors saying, could you think of a better idea? I could, easily. You know, you have so many other elements from Mob the Dead that were really not explained, and they could be taken over into the storyline because they are connected. So why not have, like, Cerberus come into the storyline as a boss? You know, the- those three heads on those- those three dog heads on- in Mob the Dead? Why not make that, like, a being of itself? A giant, three-headed, fiery dog that is- epic like think about that you could stall it with zombies it could you could eventually kill like that would be so epic and that would actually make a connection between these two maps and it would be reasonable so and the last very odd thing you know skipping the tentacle monster that you see earlier on that's that's normal but the last thing that was really weird and wasn't expected i don't think was killing off players and at the very end of this trailer you do see someone just levitating and then imploding into blood and you gotta wonder, what's gonna happen to everybody? You know, are, are players gonna be killed like in The Walking Dead? You, will you never see them again? Are they just gonna be gone for one map or something? Are they not gonna be on the next map? Who's gonna replace them? There's a lot of unanswered questions with this, and if we're gonna be losing players, that may add a lot to the story, but we may not be able to play four players on some maps, and that'd be pretty sucky. So, yeah. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you will, this was like interesting to you i tried to go over some stuff that i mentioned in the breakdown video but i tried to like go and make more of a point on that like why was this zombie three-headed i don't know i can't tell you but interesting so i tried to go more in depth on some of that stuff that bothered me a little bit so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video see you guys later give me give me out and uh